Okay, so now we have to do a flow chart, and because I couldn't do it uh, in less than 15 minutes if I did the whole thing, I went ahead and I got a start on it. So the first thing I did was I took these, my assi assignments, and I just assigned them over here. I copied them and pasted them into here. And then I went down here to these two charges here and I put these two charges in and then I went to my output and again with the output you need to have a label and the place in memory and I got them from my five here so I have four outputs I have I left one so I could do it and show you how I did it all right so the next thing we have to do is um, after this I needed to have to do my input I have three inputs here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add an input Okay, for the input, I need two things. I have a variable and I have a prompt. So the variable is right here, numpuppies. So I copy that and paste it in. And then I need to ask a question. How many puppies? Okay, that's it. Starts and ends in a quote. All right, and now I have to do the next one. So I'm going to do another input. Again, I have a variable, which is this puppy type. And then I have a prompt that goes in quotes. And I'm just going to grab, whoops, what's inside here. teacup of Great Dane. So they just have to type in one of those two. Whenever you want them to type something specific, you got to add that to the prompt. You can't just say, what type of puppy? And a person says, small one, All right? Because small one, in this case, would show up as a Great Dane. It, we want to tell them exactly what we want them to type. Okay, and then we have another input. That's processing type. And again, I have in here two quotes, and then I'll grab AKC, no AKC. So I'm t asking them to type one of these two. It's obvious to them, right? It's one or the other. And if they type just no, it's going to be no AKC. So everything's going to work out really nicely there. Okay, now we have this logic, which I haven't done yet. So now we're going to have to make a decision. And the decision is this part right here. And I'm just going to copy that and paste that right in here. If puppy type equals. Okay, if that's true, then I'm going to do this one down here. So I'm going to have to put an assignment. Open that up. I'm going to do it a little bit differently, but I find this is faster. And as I'm just going to copy this whole thing and paste it into the right side and then copy this and paste it into the left side and get rid of the equal sign. I don't know if that's faster for you or not. Oh, that's not right at all. So good. I mean, you shouldn't do it this way. All right. <laughs> all right. And then I have another one over here. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and paste it over here because the only thing I'm changing is the end of it. All right, so this one's going to be the Great Dane rate, and that's all I got to copy. I just got to replace teacup with Great Dane rate, and I'm done. Then we have a second decision, so I have to make a second if condition, and this one's if processing type is AKC. Uh oh, grab too much. Can't have the if in here. Okay, the if is incorrect. If you do that, it's not going to work correctly. And let me move this over a little bit so you can see. Okay, now I have to put in what happens if it's true. And that is the processing fee. Let me do it the regular way this time instead of the shortcut way. 
processing fee is a KC fee. So then I'm going to come to and control C and control V. That's how it's magically showing up. It's faster than right mouse clicking. Down here, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here because the only thing I'm going to change is to non AKC fee. And I'm almost done. And good thing. All right, so I'm going to move on down now to here because I'm missing my total charge, my last one here. And I'm just going to simply, since it's very similar to the charge for puppy, I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it underneath, and then change it. So it's not the total charge. This is just the, it's not the total charge per puppy. It's the total charge of the whole, entire bill. And you could do even do entire bill if we want. There you go. All right, and then this is our total charge. So I'm going to copy that and paste it over processing fee. All right, so now we just have to test it. Let's go ahead and hit the run button. Okay, so how many puppies? I'm going to make 10 because the math is easy. And I'm going to say in quotes, remember you have to use quotes in here, T cup. And uh, here I'm just going to open quotes again, AKC. So the T cup is 300, AKC is 150. So we got 10 puppies, 300 for the T cup, 150 for the AKC V. So 300 and 150 is 450. Uh-oh. So the price per puppy is 150. That's not right. Um, so it's going to be actually 4,500. Oh, see what I did down here? There's my problem. Charge for a puppy, I copy and pasted and forgot to change that. So the 4,500 actually is right. So I have to come down here. That's one of the problems with copying and pasting. Sometimes you make a mistake. This should be charge per puppy, not processing fee. All right, so let's go ahead and copy. So I can make a mistake, but it's easy to find that mistake. And I'm going to go ahead and run it again. I have 10 puppies. I'm going to get in quotes. T cup, and I have to have that space or it won't, or it'll process as a Great Dane. Um, and then here in quotes, AKC. And then we have 10, 300 for the T cup, 150 per, per thing for a AKC fee, and then 450, so that's 300 for the, and 150 for the fee, so 450. Then I'll multiply it by 10, and it's 4,500. So using the tens make up my math a lot easier. And now I'm ready to go ahead and code.